Yeah, and I it sounds like they're he's trying to run a scheme on her because how I'm looking at it from what I'm Apparently she has money and her parents apparently were just out here fucking at parties, so I don't think And he did really, that multiple that times money. with other women yeah, and they, he has other kids. Back at it again with the white vans. Uh, welcome back to the show, guys. <laughs> What are we looking at? We are <laughs> looking at <laughs> a spicy situation between some family where they have. Oh, okay, I see. It. They're going to be giving fifty dollars to their dad for some Basically, reason. Basically, somebody's refusing to give their dad money, and their dad's yeah. older. So let's find out why. Interesting dynamic. Am I the butthole for refusing to give my dad money before his wedding? Full disclosure: My 22 female mom, 41 female, had a one-night stand with my biological father. 50 male, at a super wild party. My mom never attempted to contact her sperm donor and instead raised me herself. Only last year did I track my dad down using wait, Ancestry wait, wait, DNA. Wait, that's not a sperm donor. <laughs> before, wait, wait, before we get to wait. this, having a hookup and having a one night situation at a wild party, that's not a sperm donor situation. That's Someone not. got knocked up in this situation. My and then they just left and they never told them. That's oh. not a sperm donor. There was no like agreement where they're saying like, oh, I just want a kid or you went to a place. There was no donation of sperm. The per they just knocked up and then some other the woman got pregnant in that situation. So that term of her sperm donor is a little as though she did that on purpose is, is, <laughs> what, I'm, is what I'm looking at. That's not mince words. So I'm trying to view his life decisions as objectively as possible. I met my dad for the first time ever last year. It did not go well. I also discovered that his personal life is- I would go back to that. How is that his life decision if he said that your mom never, like, chose to never- Yeah, my mom never attempted to contact him and raised me herself. So then, the reason why only you don't know him is because your mom never made the effort to. That's true. So, yeah, I'm just interested in what you're saying. His blaming life this. decision. It looks like they both are messed up because they were just out here fucking with no condom and were just fine with it, both of them. So I think it's a, there's definitely two parts of the puzzle here. This video is sponsored by The Torn Collection. Together, I can't find a screws. Need to find myself a woman that can be my muse. It's been a long, lonely road, now I need a different avenue. Hoping and being up so much, this shit is black and blue. Niggas out here giving they two cents, I know what I've been through. Women always treating me like nothing every single time that I pursue. Yeah. Always feeling conflicted because I never knew the consequence of dealing with women. Type of shit they really got me out here calling them. He is divorced from his first wife, 48 female, with whom he has three children two of whom he is paying child support for. He also squandered his ex-wife's inheritance while having affairs. Last week, Crazy. my dad called again. He told me that he is getting remarried to a 25-year-old Asian woman that he impregnated. Her parents are demanding proof that he can provide for her, but he's flat broke and owes $15,000 in child support slash alimony. My dad asks if he can borrow a few thousand dollars to save his Wait. face until the wedding. His words, I say I'd love to help, but I'm barely solvent. I owe $100,000 in student loans, I earn barely $40,000 per year due to my useless liberal arts degree, his words, my rent is being jacked up, I need to help pay my mom's medical bills, etc. But actually, I have $0 in student loans because I attended college on a scholarship and worked to pay off the rest, I earn 6 figures a year as a freelance copywriter and author, I just bought the condo I'm living in, and my mom is perfectly healthy. Wait, 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 my you just said you're barely solvent? And you're making six figures a year and just bought the condo you're living in? Those two things can't make sense. You're spending way too much money if that's the case. Or you're living in a city that you're yeah. not built for. That's true. How are you making six figures, if you're bought making, the house that you're, or bought the condo that you're living in, you, but you're barely solvent with $100,000 of student debt? Yeah, there's something so not adding we, up in terms of those, yeah, that, those monthly payments. That's not making sense to me, but let me... Get back to them. Dad's ex-wife once told me that I'm more his child than any of his legitimate children. That is, I'm a complete a whole who doesn't give a DM in about anyone. That's, besides nah, my mom. He's straight up agree or disagree? Just saying that, that like he's uh, like, oh you so, 
you you're just like my only child even though he, he's never been in your life and he's asking you for money well I, I think that maybe well there's an argument that could be made that they have more communication than the other kids that he's had but still the fact that like the girlfriend or fiance or whatever is coming and telling her that makes it sound as though they're like they're trying to run a scheme basically yeah and i it sounds like they're he's trying to run a scheme on her because how i'm looking at it from what i mean she has money and her parents apparently were just out here fucking at parties so i don't think and he did really, that multiple that times money. with other women yeah, and they, he has other kids and that he was also involved in their lives growing up more than hers because we don't she know just found things. him yeah, but it could have happened. Oh, oh, true, true. We don't. Yeah, there's more of a chance for that. Yeah, yeah, because he, she just found him. So it's like there's no way that she had, she's had more experience with him than the other kids, because mm -hmm. he was physically with other kids. That makes sense. Well, so we don't know that he's physically trying, with the kids. We just know that he had these other kids. He's had these other kids, but he's also gotten other divorces. So he's obviously been around those kids more than her still. Yeah, off of that since he had out of divorce. So for me, it's like, he's just trying to run it up on you. Yeah. He's just trying to run it so up. So I think another thing that I look at it is parents should never be asking their child for money. I think that's, a, that's not a good sign that that's happening. Yeah, I, I think anytime you're seeing that, that's because a parent is making a mistake somewhere. Do you know what I mean? Because you've had all this time to make money much longer than I have. And now you no longer have to worry about me because I'm working. So that's mm -hmm. less. You've had more time to accumulate wealth or to just stay at the same level. And, Minus, and, and, no and longer maintain having to, whatever you have. No longer having to have to support children. You should be able to be more capable of um, holding your holding own. your own than mm -hmm. before. So if you're not able to, that's because you're either overspending or you're making. There was some type of error that caused you to be in this financial trouble. Yep. And his is that he's out here. Just he's just out, out here, here fucking, fucking women. Yeah. yeah. So I would say this person is not the asshole because they trying to run it up on her. They're a or they're your they're parent. Them. I think it's a her. Yeah, it's a her. Okay. A they're your parent, and B, mm. um, it sounds like they're just trying to run up a scheme. Yep. So even mm. though what she was saying about her not being solvent, but the situation she's in, she's got to be living in a big city. And just blowing money out that is for foolishness. Not so, good spending habits. I think that I think that you should develop a better relationship or try to develop a better relationship, but it should not be on the terms of money. Agreed. Agreed. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Share and this with your friends. Share it. Let them share. Let them know. Don't play with us. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.